One lap has been completed by the race leaders, though, and CJ Morgan trying to check out in much the way that he did at Donington. He's being helped by the fact that second, third, and fourth places are all tripping over each other. It's Jordan Taylor in second. Back into third goes Jamie Petters, but a brilliant switchback manoeuvre by Riley Bishop puts him back alongside towards Starkey's corner. He is on the right-hand side of the road. That will be towards the braking zone at Panakill Bend. On board with CJ. Let's see if we can figure out where it is that he's gaining time while on the brakes. Certainly into Panakill Bend. Brakes a lot later there than Lewis Stanley but still makes the apex and seems to get on the throttle a little bit earlier. Do we have a similar gain here into Druid? Yes, we do. Look at that. CJ Morgan right at the last second darts from the inside of Lewis Stannard. That is some advantage of the braking. Meanwhile, bringing Riley Bishop with him, the inside of Will Crudson. Crudson just slipping back a little bit on this lap. Well, in fact, I think he got back ahead of Nathan Jensen at some point, hadn't he? But Nathan reclaims the place. Cruiser going with him. Now, this is for the race leader, Jordan Taylor, around the outside at turn one. How on earth did he do that? Jordan Taylor has got the lead away from Mostav and Zach Palmer. He's trying to come through with him as well. Side by side through the chicane, and Zach Palmer will elbow his way through. That was brilliant driving by Jordan Taylor. Not entirely time, which is 29, not 31, 29 points behind CJ Morgan. So that gap would come down to, what, 23 as it stands. Still plenty though, and in fact it's going to be slightly less than, uh, slightly more than that, because CJ Morgan goes up the inside of Harley Connolly, who does stand his ground this time. He's not quite close enough to do so though, and so it is still Taylor versus Morgan. CJ getting the better of Jordan Taylor, who then goes right back around the outside. What a move from Jordan Taylor! How on earth did he pull that off? He's got the inside line now for the Island Hairpin. That was one of the best bits of driving we've seen all season from Jordan Taylor. That is how important it is to get in front early doors here at Alton Park. And he's not yet got the job done. Because... A little bit wide though through Druids. And so Harley Connolly now sees a chance to get up the inside line. This for sixth position at Lodge Corner. And Harley is going to go through. So Harley Connolly into sixth place. 12 minutes still to go. His car seems to be driving okay. And he can see a gap up the inside now into the island hairpin so Harley Connolly leaving that door invitingly open the Chan Chandler Motorsport driver slips through on the inside whoops goes straight on parks the car right in front of uh, Harley so that Harley can't get the switch back and uh, CJ Morgan goes through so by the way past Zach Palmer they both run wide though out of Nelson Zach Palmer's trying to close the door but CJ is there CJ's chosen to take the risk he leans slightly on Palmer uh, through the right hander and, of course, he's got the inside line now for Corum as well. CJ Morgan, I think he's going to make this stick. Now, can Zach Palmer come back at him into Murray's? A corner that was, in theory, redesigned all those years ago to promote more overtaking. Well, Zach Palmer is going to try and prove that right. He's sideways on the curb, though. Leans on CJ Morgan. And Alexander Mostad will get the run on the pitcher of them. Palmer drops behind. But it will be a drag race for second place between the two Chandler Motorsport teammates. Jordan Taylor has already claimed the race victory. But Mostad might just get second. Watch for the timing tower who will some fifth that's uh, jamie petters trying to go around the outside of him as uh, someone was on the grass were they i think going down into brundland nelson and a big switchback maneuver there uh, from jamie petters and uh, he will get uh, that move made i think whilst ahead zach palmer has got into third now at the expense easier said than done does he have a go at harley here into the braking zone at wilson yes he does CJ Morgan up the inside makes that look quite easy gets the car stopped that was a picture perfect move there by CJ Morgan uh, for third place and i really don't think he's got much choice he's visibly later on the brakes throws it to the inside he's sideways though jordan taylor can he get the car stopped there's a bit of a hip check but i think he will get the car stopped that was actually pretty much a perfect move there from jordan taylor